Hello, it's Chem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to fix the jump boost because now when we adjusted the gravity and the jumping variables, now we have some problems with the jump boost. And also we are going to make so the jump boost, or when we have the jump boost, the camera will follow our player a little bit up. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the PP, third person character. Here, we want to go first to the, the jump and gravity values. Okay? Before, we had here set power stats. Let's also open that. We had this uh, here. We set the jump height by this if our variable is true or not. So, we don't want to use this anymore, so we can delete actually everything from here. Now let's compile and save. We can close this. We don't have anything here for now, but later on we will have. Let's close this. And here, set jump and gravity values. What we want to do here is simple as we want to move this a little bit further, like maybe. Then we want to get from this and we want to get a select float node. Like this. Then we want to get our power ups. Then we want to get a reference. And then we want to change this index to one. And we want to connect this to pk. So if our variable is true, then we want to connect this value. Or actually, sorry, if it's not true, we want to connect this straight to there. But if it is true, we want to multiply this by, let's multiply it by 1.33. Or actually, let's make it even higher. Let's make it 1.5, okay? And let's connect it to here. Now, let's make all this look a lot better. So, let's move further. And let's align these nicely and move them up. This, let's... Add some reroutes to here, like that. Now let's move this further here. This closure. So now you can see what happens. So when we have the power up, jump boost uh, true, then we will multiply this variable by 1.5. And if it's not true, we want to leave it as it is. Simple as that. Let's compile and let's save all. And now, when we get a little reactable jump boost, when we get it to here to the level, we should have it working. Now you can see our player jumps so high that we can see him when he's jumping. So let's fix that or make that camera move to move a little bit. So we want to go back to the blueprint and our PP player camera. Here on the PP player camera, we want to go to the event graph. We can close all the other pages. Now we have now the set location to come from the follow location location set. Now we will create some code that it will how it will calculate the location. So let's create a variable, uh, sorry, function. This will be called calculate jump follow location. Let's click on this and let's add a output. And let's change this output to be follow height and change this to be float, and let's move it a lot further here. Or like, yeah, something like this. Okay, now what we want, to, let's move it even more like this. Now what we want to do, we want to first get a f interp2 from here. This will interp between uh, values. And the current value, what we want to connect to there will be our camera component. And we want to get world, world location. 
and we want to split it and we want to get the set value. Now let's select all these and Q to align. And to the target, we have to create some code. So first let's create, uh, connect a select load. And what we want to select will be few things actually. So first we actually, we want to get our play ref under here somewhere. Let's leave some space here. Now from here, let's get a root component. And from the root component, we want to get world location. We want to split it again, line. Now here, this select A, we want to, oh, sorry, sorry. We want to first get the follow location transform and let's split it and let's split the location. Now we can get this set location and connect it straight to here to the B. Okay. And actually let's create the uh, condition code first so you can understand this better. So from the player ref, let's get the character movement component. And we want to check if is falling, falling like this. And we want to get a end boolean from here. Align. And also now we want to add a reroute to here. And we want to get a, we want to get the power ups. We want to get reference and we want to get from index one and connect to end like this so we're checking if we are falling or we have the power up on then let's connect this to the big a like that so basically if we're doing any one of these two things then we will select the A. If we're not, we select the normal follow location, which is set on the game start. Okay, now let's add a reroute here and let's create the code for the, for the A. That will go like, let's get from the A, let's get a clamp load. And let's actually align this better. I like everything to be aligned. And actually, <laughs> let's uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, move this a little bit further down and also these. So we will make get these to align. So we want to connect this set to the value like that. And the minimum value will be this follow set location. It will never go lower than that. Add a reroute to here, move it to here. And the maximum value will be this location added to this location. Okay, connect that to the max. So it will ever, it will never go over the uh, player follow location, which is like, I don't know, 200, 300 units on the set that added to the player's current location. So it will never go over that. Okay, simple as that. And now we can make this a little bit tighter because I left too much space here. Yeah, something like that. So now here for the Delta time, that is simple as get world Delta seconds. And for the interp, we want to actually get the select load again and we want to get this if power up one is true we want to connect that to there and if it's true we want to make this uh, like eight 
If it's not, we want to make this like four. Or like, yeah, you can play with these values, but I will show you quickly. So let's compile, save all, and play. So now, when we jump, our camera is not following us because we didn't connect it. Sorry about that. Let's go back to the PP camera, player camera, and to the event graph. And let's cut this link from here. And let's move this to here. And now let's get the calculate jump for lo location. And also, I'm stupid. We want to make it pure like that. Now let's connect this to the set. Simple as that. Compile, save all, and let's play. Now, you see, it will follow the layer. And if you have set the jump multiplier, uh, jump boost multiplier higher, you might want to adjust uh, this value. You want to make it even higher if the player jumps too high. But in my case, I actually might want to make it even smaller. So six, it, it doesn't have to be that uh, fast. It can be like, I think it will work pretty nicely. Yeah, you can see, that's good for me. And the other value is when we run out of the jump boost, when we are in the air like this. Oh, I didn't get it to work like that. But if we have that set to too fast, so if it, that uses the same value as the when it's on, then we ha might have like this uh, not good looking snapping happening. So the camera will snap back to down uh, too fast. If That's the reason why I made these separate values. We can also make this like, yeah, I would like it to be like half of the other value, but you can play with this. But yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. Let's save and compile and do all that fun stuff. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.